I hear my phone ringing. I think I know who that is. It's my friend Kathy from Kathy's Southern Kitchen. Well, hey, Miss Kimmy, roll tide, girl, roll tide. Are you ready for the big game? I am more than ready, and I have to know, are you ready for a big game day? Yes, we're getting ready, girl. I just want to let you know that I am serving up some boiled peanuts and my little razorback pig or hogs or whatever you call them in honor of you. Do y'all have boiled peanuts in Arkansas? We may in South Arkansas where the ground would grow them better, but no, we don't. Every Southern girl needs to have boiled peanuts. I'm definitely going to have to find a way to send those to you. Well, let me ask you something, Kim. What is your favorite thing about game day? Well, it obviously has to be the delicious food. I love appetizers. They are my very, very favorite thing. Now, what is your favorite thing about game day? Number one in my book is Nick Saban. Because down in Alabama, we love Nick Saban. Do you sing that song, girl, in Arkansas? Well, we know that song a little bit different. Ours goes something like this. Down in Arkansas, where we love Sam Pittman. I feel the urge to call those hogs. Ooh! Pig, Sue, Razorback. I can hear those hogs stampeding all the way here in Alabama. But look who I've got with me today. from Tuscaloosa to join us this morning. Grandma, grandma. Well, yes. Let me ask you, who's going to win this game tonight? Grandma. Well, you elephant need to just get on down the road with it. <laughs> I love it. Well, tell me this. What have you got cooked up for us today? Oh, girl, I made some pig shots in the oven. We've done them in the smoker before, but not everyone has access to a smoker or a, to be able to cook outside. So I threw together a quick little thing and I baked them in the oven and they are gonna be delicious to eat while we mop the floor with y'all. <laughs> well, I hope you make plenty of them, girl, because it's gonna take you a while to mop up after us. Let me show you what I've got. Can't wait. You always do the best things. Talk about simple. This is it. I've got what I'm, I'm calling elephant ears. And this is just some puff pastry and it's got a few little toppings on it. Aren't they cute? Well, Miss Kenny, you better get to cooking. I'm looking forward to seeing how you put together those, what are they called? Pig shots. Oh, I love it. I love it. Well, all right, let's get this party started. Well, hey, y'all. We are getting ready for game day around here. Looky here. What I have, now we've done this before. We did this last year, and we did them in the smoker. But not everyone has a smoker, so today we're going to make our pig shots and put them in the oven. Now, what I have in my dish is one block of cream cheese, and I grated a, about almost half of some sharp cheddar cheese. You can add whatever cheese is in your refrigerator. And then I have a good cereal spoon of minced garlic. I have a, a good tablespoon of your favorite barbecue rub. And then I have a good teaspoon of liquid smoke. Now, if you're doing these outside on the grill, you necessarily wouldn't need the liquid smoke because the uh, smoke from your machine is going to impart that flavor, but since we're doing it in the old oven, we need some little flavor boost. So, and I've just got this in my bowl, and I'm just going to give this a, a quick mix. And you want your cream cheese to be very soft, not melted, but very soft. 
there we go. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna show you how you put these little pig shots together and they look like a, a, little, a little shot glass, kind of. So what you do is you soak your toothpicks in some water because you don't want these to burn. But what I have, I have one package of Andouille sausage, smoked sausage, and this is uh, a Johnsonville brand. It has no MSG. And I also had one package of bacon, and I chose the thick cut bacon. But let me show you. Here is a piece of bacon that is too short. So I just take the, the flat side of my knife and I just mash on it as to encourage it to lengthen and just push it back this way. And so there you have increased the size of your piece of bacon. And you just take your kielbasa that you've cut to about, oh, uh, almost an inch, three quarters of an inch, lay it down and you wrap your bacon around and then you're gonna secure it with a toothpick. Oh, Kim, that looks so good. Now tell me what kind of kielbasa do you like? Now the way I choose my kielbasa is that you have to know your crowd. This andouille is kind of spicy. So if I was gonna serve it to a, a bunch that was gonna get a lot of kids involved, I would not serve it this. I would use the regular pork or the beef or even the turkey if you're trying to cut down the fat, but you got bacon here. But there are so many different options and there's the right one for you. You just have to know your crowd. So what I have here is a cookie sheet that I have lined in tin foil, and this is too large, but that's okay. That'll encourage the grease to kind of uh, dissipate and get not all piled up one pile. And I don't know why that matters, but I, I guess it does to me. But I'm gonna cook this on a grate. And I'm gonna put it kind of ollie gaglin because it doesn't fit down in there square and that'll be fine as long as it's secure. But this game, y'all, is gonna be so exciting. Arkansas plays Alabama at Arkansas. So you know this is gonna be a great game. I'll show you how we're gonna pipe. Now we're just gonna take and cut off the end. going to squeeze this in there and I was going to cook these in the uh, in the smoker again and in reading the comments there's so many people that that live in, in an area where they're not allowed to have a smoker or a grill or any of that outside business like that so I thought well we're just going to do this in the oven so everyone can have an opportunity to have a pig shot. I'm gonna get some more of this barbecue sprinkly spice over here. And we're just gonna put a little on each one. So I'm gonna put this in my oven. And it's gonna take a little while because they are thick pieces of bacon. Okay, I just took these out of the oven and they took about 35 minutes. Let me tell you what I'm gonna do now some sweet baby rays now this is no sugar added original but you can use your very favorite barbecue sauce and i'm just going to put just a little just a little bit on top of each one and then i'm going to put it back in the oven just for five minutes just real quick and this will kind of caramelize and it will just kind of add another flavor to it so i'll see y'all back when these come out Okay, y'all, they are out of the oven. They are cool. I have taken the toothpicks out and I have put them on a serving dish and we are ready to go. Oh, Kim, that looks delicious. Well, let me put these pom-poms up long enough to show you how I make these. Now, I'm starting with some puff pastry. I love puff pastry. You'll find this in the freezer section and it comes packaged with two sheets and I think it's a great deal. Now I've already got this sitting on my board and I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit of flour over the top and this is already in a nice little square but I'm just going to roll it and get the seams out. 
I've got some cream cheese that I've let sit on the counter for just a little bit, and I'm gonna take about a third of this cream cheese and put it right in the center of this puff pastry. You just wanna get a light little layer on this. Make sure that it's even, that it goes all the way out to the edges. This is one of those things that we want every part of it to have good flavor. Now, I have got some jarred pesto. This is a sun-dried tomato pesto. You can use whatever you like. If you like the basil and garlic pesto, use that. But since it's an Alabama game, I thought I'd throw a little red in there. Red and white as our colors. And I'm taking probably about three tablespoons. You can use more or less. Oh, this pesto smells so good. Now, I have some Parmesan. And I'm gonna sprinkle that all over the top. Now, just a little Italian seasoning. You can also use fresh basil, fresh oregano. Do you also make a sweet version of the elephant ears? That is such a great question. I love to make cinnamon sugar elephant ears. You know, kind of like the ones that you get when you go to the state fair. Ooh. I will make them exactly the same way and just use a little butter, brown sugar, cinnamon, roll them up the same way I'm about to show you. Now, speaking of rolling up, let's get started on this. I'm gonna roll them. Once you get it started, it's pretty easy to finish it up. And I'm rolling it right to the middle. And to get that elephant ear look, we need to roll the other side too. And I'm gonna do exactly the same thing. There we go. I have my baking sheet and it's lined with parchment paper. You don't have to line it, but it definitely makes cleanup a whole lot easier. And I've got a good sharp knife. And what I'm going to do is cut these into one inch pieces. And look there, see that? Now I wanna put the ugly side down. And there we go. I've got a little bit left over and I'll cook that with my next batch, but I am going to sprinkle just a little bit more of the Parmesan before we bake them. My oven's preheated to 400 degrees and these are going right in for about 15 minutes. Look at these. Look how cute they are. Little elephant ears. Well, I'm gonna get these plated up, Miss Kimmy. We're about to have us some good food and some football, girl. I am too, Kathy. This has been so much fun. I've stretched my wings. I've learned how to do a few new things. And it's just it's just so good to get together with a friend, even though we're not next door for next door neighbors. That is so true. I love modern day technology. It's definitely put us next door. Actually, I've had a great time in your kitchen today and it's so fun that we could do that. I love you. Whether we win or we lose, I know today has been a winner for me. It has for me too. And I just love you to pieces and this has been more fun than a barrel of monkeys. And I know that that football game is going to be so much fun as well. No matter who wins, we're all winners. We're all pulling on the same rope. That's exactly right, girlfriend. Well, I'm about to grab my elephant ears 
And on the way out, I'm going to say, roll tide. Love you, girl. Love you, too. And woo! Peace, Suey. Raise your backs. I appreciate you all for stopping by so, so much. And I will see you next time.